Hello. And thank you for being here today. So I thought I would make a little video um, before my work is starting. Today is Sunday. And it is the 15th, October 2023. Um, yeah, so uh, this morning, tell you a little bit about my day. Um, the usual uh, Zumba class in the morning. And we had 12 members plus me, or maybe 11 plus me. And after that, the dry sauna, and then eating, um, and I treated myself to eat something. So then I'm watching one of the brothers do his street ministry, and that was very edifying and encouraging. And at that time, then one of the sisters from, you know, uh, my past was having lunch there with her family. And she walked by me, so uh, we said hello and had a greeting, and then just a little catching up since we hadn't seen each other in a while. And so that was a real time of, I would call it mutual encouragement to each other. So, um, so yeah. Then she had, then her family was calling her over, so she did go to go. Um, to go with them and to go eat and she is someone that I've known for a long long time and have had random encounters with her throughout the years for over the past 20 30 some years so uh, usually no not usually but very often in the past we would randomly run into each other outside of the church building uh, not expecting to you know I was not expecting to run into her and then there she was and I often ran into her in the past when I would be feeling down and out and I was sharing a little bit about my testimony with her or a little bit about my story that you know in the past I when we used to run into each other uh, you know, you, she would ask me, how am I doing? I always like put on my happy face and, you know, the little um, social mask and be like, oh, everything's great, you know, but inside I would just be suffering so much. And I was sharing with her today, I think because of like shame and pride from before, you know, shame that I felt depressed or pride, uh, too, feeling too prideful to uh, admit what I was feeling so that I could, you know, get the help that I needed. Uh, so that was like in my past. So I was able to share that with her a little bit. And I just, you know, I wanted to open up with her, but I didn't get to tell like the full story um, with her, but that's okay. Um, and so that was just encouraging, and I got to share verses with her of scripture, and um, that was very enjoyable. Okay, so let me try and remember some of the verses I shared with her. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Um, there were a few others, maybe half a dozen, yeah, uh, just a handful of verses that we I shared with her because I wanted to encourage her spirit and that's also why I'm sharing right now with you the listener I want to encourage your spirit as well so yesterday in my in my quiet time in my private time reading the word and in prayer I felt like God was speaking to me um, to use my voice as an encouragement or edification, I think that was the word, edify the listener. And so, hey, there goes a truck. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I want to do with you, is encourage you in the faith of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, he who builds his house or his life on the rock of Jesus Christ is going to stand and when the winds blow and the rains come and the storm comes, you'll be able to stand because you built your house and you built your life around 
the uh, I was going to say the teachings of Jesus Christ and you know all that he taught and said to do and think and say so today um, as I was listening to the brother street preaching you know because I'm working in the morning I'm working today at night so the least I could do <laughs> is at least share that video and invite others to at least watch with me and to watch that video of the street preaching he's preaching the Word of God and with a sober and temper temper temperate with a sober mind with a even keeled mind and um, purely the Word of God from what I can tell and what I can gather so oh so then when I was coming uh, back home from the restaurant after meeting that lady friend and then coming home my uber driver you know we were just talking a little bit and I sang to him a song a gospel song because I felt led to do that and then at the end he was English I think was his second language so Anyways, he said that uh, the song that I sang to him in his language was giving him the goosebumps. So I just said, hallelujah, praise the Lord, or something to that equivalent effect. Maybe I said, glory to God, glory to Jesus. And then, you know, and I left. And so I pray for that man. I think his name is June something, something, something. That the work that God has started in him would carry on to completion in Jesus Christ. So if he was feeling goosebumps from my singing then probably or possibly the Holy Spirit was touching him in that moment. So, um, yeah, the words of the song are, G what is it? Let's praise the Lord, let's praise the Lord, let's praise the Lord, oh yeah, hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord, let's all praise the Lord. Um, and he mentioned or regarded that my pronunciation in his native tongue was very good also but um yeah he had before i got out he <laughs> had to like get the translator the google translate to translate what he meant to say or what he was trying to communicate and it was something to the effect of your song gave me goosebumps so hallelujah praise the lord i've got seven minute video and i think i had 10 minutes until it's time for me to clock in so i'm gonna sign out and uh, tomorrow is monday uh, hopefully I can upload this tonight when I get home. Then Monday I have Zumba and Lord willing I'd like to go pass out some tracks, Bibles, flyers and while I'm out and about running errands. But we'll see what the Lord has for me tomorrow and just make it for uh, through today. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ loves you and he came to set you free. So put your faith, hope and trust in him always. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say to encourage you. Have no fear. Have only the fear of God in you. Fear God, not man. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So, I am thankful today for every good and perfect gift that comes down from the Father of Lights. That's in James, Book of James somewhere. And I'm thankful he fed me, uh, you know, my lunch today. Uh, he's given me a job to come to. My body is working good. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. I need to get water. So, you know, we have so much to be thankful for. I'm thankful for the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm thankful for his salvation, his deliverance. I'm thankful for every good and perfect gift that comes from the Father of Lights. All right, I'm signing out for real. It's nine minute video and I have one minute to clock in. <laughs> oh yeah. So enjoy the rest of your night or evening day or wherever you find yourself and keep looking up for your retention draws night.